Hey y'all, welcome to Happy Art Creations and welcome to my today. Well today I'm actually going to paint on a canvas. This here is 11 by 14. It is gallery wrap but it is a standard size meaning everything, oh you can't see it, everything's tucked inside. There are no floppy edges, okay? I'm not worried about that. All right, so this I got uh, at uh, our, at uh, Michael's, so it's a level two, but it is gallery wrap, traditional size. Okay, so I found some beautiful colors that y'all, I did, I haven't, I haven't posted the video because I just did it, and I'm going to do a painting with that, and I'm, I think this is about as big, I'm going to have to do something about to keep this on, but this is about as big as it can get. Let's see if I put this piece of a... Oh, I don't know. Maybe that'll help it stick. Maybe. But I am going to need to spin, and this spinner is a little bit higher up. It's not in my normal space, okay? So anyhow, I think that might help a little bit. I'm not worried about this. I can just throw it in water and clean it. So, um, and reuse it. So I'm going to use my... Uh, Bayer Premium Plus Interior Satin Enamel. Um, it's ultra pure white. I'm using that as my base. I'm not doing anything. Normally I have a lid on it, but I have so much paint here to put on because I am going to put the whole thing on. Don't want to lose that yet. Okay, so let's do it. Okay, I have found a beautiful color combination that I love. And I'm going to stick with it for a little while. Why are there bubbles everywhere? Because I've been using it and it's been sitting. So my last one had more bubbles than I thought to that it needed to have. So, all right. I'm trying to get the, at least the center. Keep that there. And what I'm going to do now is go around. Let me use this and this. Um, I have nothing added to this paint, okay? Nothing is added. All it is is the paint, the bare premium. And so far, everything has been drying nice. So, you know, I'm not going to mess up a good thing. I don't have any GAC 800 or anything, you know, okay? So, um, that's what it is. It is what it is, what it is, what it is. So let me clean this off, okay? Just going to wipe it off. I haven't used a canvas in a while. Let me get some more paper towel. That wasn't quite enough. Um, but I thought that these colors were so pretty together that I think I wanted to try it. So, that aside over there. Where is my lid? Okay. My paint is now officially covered and I keep them in this right here just a little can to help me all right let's see if this I'm just gonna spin it a little bit just a little bit just a little bit I'm learning to put a little bit of a uh, wax paper underneath and I'm just gonna leave this as it is right now maybe bring it uh, a little bit over the side there there's quite a bit and I am gonna spin it okay here we go so my new favorite colors, of course it's been a favorite of mine, is Cridacridone, Golden's Cridacridone, Azo Gold, and I put some iridescent in it. Then I've got a mix of a bunch of silvers, y'all. There's some um, pigments and, oh, platinum from, and Liquitex. So they're just a whole bunch of things. Then I've got Arteza Bronze. I have a turquoise that I have no idea who makes it. Um, I didn't mark it, so I don't know. <laughs> So there we go. I've got that. Um, let's see. That's one, two, three, four. I'm going to use um, Montmartre Gold. Okay. Montmartre Gold, which I can't find online anymore. It's a good thing I still have a jug. I'm going to use my Pebio White Cell Activator. I make it per my recipe online or per somebody else's recipe. I think it has 10 parts. Ooh, no, 8 parts. American US Floetrol and uh, one part Pebio and then my black cell activator is just like 
it is the uh, golden carbon black and it this one does have the wood conditioner in it where the other doesn't um, I'm a little low on the Arteza brown I'm gonna go look and see if I have some more there hang on that I have mixed up I have an antique gold mix mm -hmm. what are you you're not what I want well push come to shove push come to shove I've got an antique gold mix here, which is kind of similar, but not quite. All right, so I'm going to start off with my Cridacridone Nickel Azo Gold with some iridescent. And we're just going to start there. That's a big blob. Then I hope I have enough for all of this. Then there's my silver mix. Sometimes you have to mix stuff, y'all, or it just doesn't go. Arteza Brown. You wouldn't think that that silver works, but it works. It is so gorgeous. Okay, so at this point I put the turquoise whatever you are. And I think my thing is clogging up. <laughs> oh, maybe I didn't have it open. Oh, that might have been it. I didn't have it all the way open. Oh, okay. The blob came out. Well, that'll still work. I'm not worried about it. It's a lot. Okay. Then I'm going to put the gold. Put your gold in before your white. Put a little gold here. I'm going to put my rounder here. And then I'm going to put my white cell activator. Let it kind of sink in. And my carbon black cell activator. All right. So that is a lot of blue. That's way it goes life happens here we go y'all ready I'm gonna blow this excuse my messy hair everything's messy look at the gold coming up underneath though that's what I wanted to see it's lighting it up And I'm not worried about anything else. Let me blow a little straw right here in the middle. That'll help. I'm going to let that sit. Okay? And I'm going to move on to the next. All right. So we're starting off with, I don't know, one of these. And I'm putting them all in the same order, y'all. Okay. Silver. Where are you? Arteza bronze. And then I'm going to put my color, which is whatever color you are. That made a bit of flow troll bub blob. Then I'm going to put my gold, Montmartre gold, white. I'm not worried about any of that, okay? There is my white and my black. This might be my last painting for the day, okay? And a little bit of gold around the sides just cuz why not all right here we go okay what you do is just so I'm telling you now you blow kind of straight down and kind of stay in that area gently you're gonna gently blow and then as you get it kind of that black spread around in a circle as best as you're able then you're gonna blow and kind of glide over that paint okay here we go and then I press a little bit harder because I want to bring up that gold as I'm blowing out this far out okay so hang on here we go see it Gosh, look at that. All right. Trying to get some more to come up there. All right, let's put some more right here. Y'all, these are going to be gorgeous when you see it. It is not near done. Do, do, do. And there was a reason I put the silver between that and the, and the um, Arteza. Well, that's my gold. Where is my bronze? I had it right here. Is this it? No, that's my gold. Oh. 
right there. It's because the um, cordacridone magenta is so um, they're they're similar in in tone, kind of. So let's put that blue in. Then I'm gonna put my my gold. Then my white cell. Oh, and let's put some of that gold around because I do like it. My um, white cell activator and my black. There we go. Y'all ready? And I don't care if they overlap or whatever because I'm going to spin these. I hope I can spin it as fast as I want. Then I push it. These back ones are a little bit harder. <laughs> I'm going to put some more and start another one. Right there. This is so pretty. Yeah, this is, I'm going to have to make some more of this Arteza bronze. i got to figure out what color this is. Gold. I find this gold that I'm using from Montmart to be comparable with Deco Art, and I know that's almost blasphemy, but it's the way it goes. Alright, I see some big old fat bubbles, which sometimes I do try to pop them before I spin. And then I can do something with them, but I'll wait and do that. Boop, see? Boop, boop. There we go. You ready? Here we go! Oops! That happened. So I'm not worried about. Who knows? Okay. I'm going to put something right here. Yeah, I am. I'm not worried about how many blooms I have. I'm just going for it, right? That feels like it's fixing to clog. These are not these are not real thick. These are not like, you know, regular bloom paints, okay? These are not the same consistency. They're about a 50-50. 50% 50 um flow troll, 50% paint. How about? Here we go. Yeah, we're going to start with that. Let me wipe my eyes. Allergy eyes. Okay, so I got a paper towel. And again, I'm not worried about that mess. This I may fix. I might fix it right now. And what it is, you do a little bloom in the middle, just like I just did. Start over. so much blue there's quite a blue and that other one underneath it is going to show up okay um, gold white black a dot just because I want it on top there we go here we go let's try to fix this one And what it does is it kind of gives it another bloom look. So when it 
when we spin this out, it's really cool. So let's go ahead and add some um, some definition. Let's bring these blooms in. Look how pretty. And again, I'm probably going to fix that. That's not. I'm not even going to worry about it. This one I ended up with what six. I guess I'm not <laughs> wiping that off enough as I go, but you know, okay. Here we go. Now, see the difference in that middle? Right? Okay, did I forget? So, even though it's not perfect, when you blow it or spin it, it's going to be great. So I'm going to do a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of this. This will be fixed. Okay. Some of this is going to be blown out, and as I spin it, which I might have to do multiple spins because of the, um, what is it? Because this, I don't know how this is going to spin on my thing, my spinner. I might have to spin more gently more often. This is a start. Let's get rid of some of these bubbles. And I'm not even worried about those because afterwards I can come back and fix them. Okay, so y'all, I'm going to do something and it may freak you out because you normally do this after the fact. But I want to bring some unity to the middle. Alright, so I'm just going to lightly take my balloon. See, I got a little balloon. And bring it in. Like that. That's it. So now I'm bringing unity. to my middle. See how much already better? It's not all funky. It's going to move and I could still do this after. Look at that. That made that one much better and I imagine this one's going to be more. There you go. Alright. Always wipe your balloon off in between each one unless you want to use that paint to highlight the other. So we're going to give this a Gentle stir after I pop some bubbles. Let me get a sharp. Oh, that's not sharp. <laughs> I am going to get a skewer. And I'm going to pop. That's a bug or something. Who knows? And I might just swirl that around. There we go. Bubble. I don't want the bubbles to grow. See how this one was a bubble? Any other biggies that are... Oh, I'm, I'm very pleased with the composition so far and how I've got these. Okay, Lord, watch over. Don't let it fall off. Let's just keep spinning it. It's going to take quite a few spins. Let's see. Woo! See how gorgeous it's starting to open up. Let's see. I don't want it to fly off. This is going to bug me, so I'll get that later. And I'm still going clockwise. I'm fixing to go counterclockwise. And why, you say, shall I do that? Look at that. I love that in the corner. So let's spin this way. Because I like to balance it back out. Okay? Alright. One thing about using a canvas, your canvas does absorb the paint. We're going to do that again. This got big, and all these little specks I can fix. Bubbles, I hate you, bubble. And I am going to take the balloon again and bring that back in. 
have enough paint on here that I can keep spinning this and I'm wanting to get that little spot right there. If I spin it much more I'm going to be in trouble. Oh, it needs to go this way. It's going back that way. So let's bring it back that way. Let's finish where we start then and balance it. Yeah, it's starting to cover. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See this part right here? That's what I was wanting to cover. And I've got some Montmart white, and I'm just going to let that flow over the side for a minute. And it'll bring that other paint over. I have found that Montmart white, y'all, um, works real well for for your um, what is it? Uh, the ones you blow. Dutch pours. Mm-hmm. Okay. So now you're gonna see me doing this, and I'm not gonna clean it off because I want some of the dots to come out. Okay, we're going to bring it in like that, in like that, in like that. Eh, that didn't look right. Okay. All right, we'll leave that one alone. See this? I'm going to leave that because I am going to... This is gorgeous, y'all. Now, here's some more fine-tuning. I'm going to bring some of this in. Okay. Uh-oh. Is it raining? It's raining and my puppies are out. Oh, I'll be right back. Hang on. Okay, I'm back. Luckily, they're smart dogs. <laughs> they were in their little dog kennel. So I'm very thankful. Now, where did my little ditty go? This isn't it, but I don't know where it is. Okay, we'll do the back side of it. All right, we're going to finish this up, and I'll bring you in. Like these little places. I don't know how I feel about them. A lot of times you can just pick them up with your finger. If not, you know, swirl them around. Make them something. Make them something like that. Do, do. And I am going to go back in the middle and finish out that. So if you want more division, you have to bring in some more white. Okay, so that's what I'm doing there. I got enough paint on there to where it will um Okay, ready? Let's get these centers in like this one. I'm going to add a touch of black right there. Here we go. In fact, I think I'm more wet now than the puppies were. All right, let's bring that in. Let's bring some black just in the center. I'm wiping my, um, this has got quite a bit of paint right there, so let's go ahead and take it off. But I'm wiping my balloon each time. If you don't, you'll end up having mud. Oops. We can pretend that one's been done. I don't have a big enough. Oops. Balloon to do. Woo! That almost landed in to do a bigger balloon in the middle. So let me push and bring it in. Oh, that's much better. Right? Oh, gorgeous. Should I stop? Should I stop? Okay. Look at it glow. Look at it glow right there. Now what am I doing? I am trying to give this some meaning in its life. <laughs> so it's not so blobby. You can overdo it, which I have been known to do. So I'm going to bring this into the middle. That into the middle. 
I'm in love with this, y'all. I'll bring that. And what am I doing? I'm trying to break it up a little bit. There. There. Okay. Well, y'all, let me go out. Oops, wrong way. Look at that gorgeousness, right? It is gorgeous. Okay, I got my backs. Y'all, my paintings always have finger, not a fingerprint, but yeah, I guess it's a fingerprint on the, um, <laughs> the back side because, oops, here, let's, I can fix that later, but let's do it now, right? Because I got to hold it in the middle. Okay, and what I'm doing is I'm just trying to fix up that edge there. It's kind of dripping on me just a little, but not too much actually. Really, not too much at all. Now, if I find that I have a lot more of these little um, dots, and they do come up, they definitely come up, then I will take some paint and just dot back over them in the color I want. Okay, look at that. She is absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous. Okay. Well, y'all, I thank you for spending today with me. Again, because this is not my first video today, but thank you for joining me. Um, if you like this beautiful, gorgeous painting like I do, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Share with your friends. Watch a little bit longer. It matters to YouTube. And then, in fact, it matters to me. Um, and also, if you're not a subscriber, you're welcome to subscribe. We welcome you here at Happy Art Creations. We are a happy tribe. Speaking of happy tribe, we have a new share page, and it's called Let's Share Happy Art on Facebook. So you can join that, too, and share your art. So invite your artsy friends, and let's go ahead and have fun on there. It is a fun, fun page. We're new. We're just building. Lots been going on in my life, and I'm trying to build it, build it, build it up. Okay, y'all need your help. And if you are a subscriber, I say thank you. One last thing, go ahead and spark some happy in someone else's heart today. You may be the only one that does or can. Um, again, I can't reach people you can reach, and some people just need to be noticed. Just need to be, hey, I see you kind of thing. So, anyhow... I'm loving this. What do you guys think? I will see you next time here on Happy Art Creations. Toodaloo. Goodbye. Goodbye now. Gotta go take care of those puppies. All right. Toodles. Bye-bye.